Look, they're trying to fly. National Geographic. Yeah, that's right. It's great. Him with those ducks. We are a family. And even in this fucked up day and age, that means something. Grandma just called. Started crying and hung up. She needs a purpose in life. No, your mother is tougher than you think. So what, no fucking ZD now? Ooh. Oh! oh. oh. You know, everybody thought Dad was the ruthless one, but I got a hand in tea. If you'd been born after those feminists, you would have been the real gangster. Mr. Sensitive now. Well, if it bothers you, Maybe you better talk to a psychiatrist. Mr. Soprano, you said you were in waste management. The environment. Dr. Cusimano, besides being your family physician, is also your next door neighbor. See what I'm saying? Are you in the mafia? Am I in the what? Please, Tony. I'm in the waste management business. So everybody immediately assumes you're mobbed up. It's a stereotype, and it's offensive. And you're the last person I would want to perpetuate it. Fine. There is no mafia. St. Peter, my family saint. Now, as that card burns, so may your soul burn in hell if you betray your friends and the family. This Christopher Moltisanti. Christopher? What about him? Him and his little, uh, friend. They're slapping me in the face, and they're hiding behind Tony. Well, Tony always loved Christopher like a son. You're a great girl, Christopher. You don't want to lose this one. You hear that? Your cousin's out. The reason he went to prison is he got pinched, hijacked on a truckload of beta boxes in 86. And he got 17 years. And I was supposed to be there the night of the jacket. You got to come down here. You're going to love this stuff. The guy you're looking for is an ex-commando. He killed 16 Chechen rebels single-handed. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, nice, huh? He was with the Interior Ministry. Guy, some kind of Russian green beret. You're not gonna believe this. He killed 16 Czechoslovakians. Guy was an interior decorator. This house looked like shit. You may run North Jersey, but you don't run your Uncle Junior. How many fucking hours did I spend playing catch with you? Something may have to be done, Livia, about Tony. I don't know. gonna look for who did this to him. Anthony, well, of course he is. Olivia, you understand what's going on here? My son got shot, and he got away. What do we do now? We go see him. Tony? Of course! She's my only son. <laughs> what, what do you think? My mother tried to have me whacked because I put her in a nursing home? No, not literally. I say what your mother has, at the very least, is what we call borderline personality disorder. These people have no love or compassion. Uh, this husband of yours, Carmela, how much we love him. He's the best. Oh. Come on. <laughs> He's like a father to me. My husband, I think he has committed horrible acts. Ah! It's fucking alive! It's alive! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, you know all about him, Father Phil. I'm the same. I've, I've said nothing. I've done nothing about it. I got a bad feeling. Just make sure nothing happens to him. Anthony Soprano has no respect for this thing. He's a guy who stepped over his own uncle to grab the big seat. You want to talk about this old school bullshit about the rules? Well, here's a rule you might remember. I'm the motherfucking fucking one who calls the shots. You out of your fucking mind laying your hands on me! This is the boss of his family. You got some balls, kid. I'll give you that much. You'll give me what I tell you to give All me. Oh, Tony. Right, take it easy. Take it easy. Fuck oh. that. This ain't the 70s. And I'm not a kid. Hey, what are you doing here? Chris sent me to pick you up. Chris? Why? Did something happen? Must be my dad, right? Another search warrant? Uh, calls him the Federal Bureau of Annoying Bullshit. Let me ask you a question, Miss LaServa. Do you really think we have you in here because we don't know what's in that garbage bag? I didn't do nothing. Miss LaServa, I suggest in the strongest possible terms that you start telling us what you know. Let me tell you something. Nowadays, everybody's got to go to shrinks and counselors. Whatever happened to Gary Cooper? The strong, silent type. That was an American. He wasn't in touch with his feelings. He just did what he had to do. Uh, I got to sit down. Could I be happier? Yeah. Yeah. Who couldn't? Do you feel depressed? Wow. Listen to Mr. Mob Boss.
What did you call me? I was fucking pussyfooting around. Years now? Why don't we just get it all out there? Meadow's going to be going away to college next year, leaving the nest. Not those fucking ducks again. Had some good times. Here he goes now with the nostalgia. Hey, all I'm saying is no marriage is perfect. Well, having that Kumar on the side helps. I told you I'm not seeing her anymore. How do you think I feel having that priest around all the time? Don't even go there, all right? Father is a spiritual mentor. He's helping me to be a better Catholic. Yeah. Well, we all got different needs. What's different between you and me is you're going to hell when you die. You remember Dickie Moltisanti? Must be a restaurant no. Somewhere. No? Is that what you said? Is he a friend of yours? He was my father. You're being set up. He's lying to you, whoever he is. It wouldn't make any difference. What do you mean it wouldn't make any difference? He wants you dead. Like fucking King Midas in reverse here. Everything I touch turns to shit. I'm not a husband or my wife. I want you to leave this house, Tony. I'm not a father to my kids. I got nothing. I'm not a friend of my friends. I didn't burn down your restaurant. I swear my mother. I'm nothing. You know, I'd go to my priest and I would cry and say how bad I felt about how my husband made his money, but that was bullshit. Because there are far bigger crooks than my husband. What I've been through, it changes the way you think. That holding my grandkids, your kids, in my lap, all of a sudden it's very important to me. Do you have any qualms about how you actually make a living? I find I have to be the sad clown laughing on the outside, crying on the inside. See, things are trending downward. I'd like to propose a toast to my family. Someday soon, you're gonna have families of your own. And if you're lucky, you'll remember the little moments like this. That were good. Cheers.